This video is sponsored by Branding UI. Three Minute Max with Mr. Yeah. Jesus Ramirez, starting now. So a lot of you probably have already seen this feature. I just don't think you realize how powerful it actually is. So I have a black and white image. I went into filters, neural filters, and there's this option called colorize. You can click on, and Photoshop will use artificial intelligence to colorize the image just with one click. It worked great, right? I can click on OK, and it places it in a new layer before and after. A lot of you have probably seen that before, but like I said, it's more powerful than that. You're not echoing me. No, I was gonna say, black and white images are more artistic, though. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but what happens when you have an image that you're happy with, but maybe you don't want that extra, uh, the light, the way that she was lighted is getting uh, a lot of lights onto her that- Very may, cyberpunk. Very cyberpunk that you may not necessarily want. Well, you can actually use that same filter, uh, filter, neural filters, and use that exact same command to neutralize the colors in the image. You're lying. By clicking, yeah, lying. <laughs> by clicking colorize, and then with one click, it automatically does that. But that's not all, there's still more. We can actually trick Photoshop into use this filter on video. So let me show what? you what that looks like. I have a video here. If I go into window, That's not a video, that's your timeline, shot. And you can see that's a video. Okay. Convert to a smart object to convert that video layer into a smart object so that we can trick Photoshop into thinking this is an image. So I can go into filter, neural filters again. It will take a moment because it is a video, it's not an image. I still have a minute to go, so I'm good. And I can <laughs> click on colorize, and as you saw, it's going to colorize it with just one click. The difference is that now I will output to a smart filter, press OK, and what Photoshop did is, um, colorize the entire video. I'm gonna show you what that looks like, but to export a video in Photoshop, you can just go into render video right here, this option there, and I'll show you what that video looks like. I have it here. Here we go, uh, there's the video. And that is the colorization that Photoshop makes on video just with one click. Still have 30 seconds, but that's good. Thank you very much. Mr. Jesus Ramirez. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.